Well, I dropped the drone off there at uh, DJI and uh, said it'd be a day or two for them to fix it. So I got to come up with different things to do for a couple days here around the Denver area. So, hmm, let me think. I think I got an idea. Let's go. Ah, it's kind of pretty up here. We got to uh, walking around. There's all kinds of sandstone uh, formations over here. There's a whole bunch of sandstone formations over there. I don't know what that thing is down there. Anybody got a clue? <laughs> oh, really, that's Red Rocks. Uh, Red Rocks Amphitheater. They're doing some sound checks for today. For uh, I guess they're going to have a concert tonight of some type. Uh, don't really know what kind it is. Uh, it's a uh, sound like techno DJ, you know, rap kind of stuff. I think I, I don't know exactly what it is. I might look it up, and if it sounds like something interesting, I might go to it tonight. I don't know since I'm right here. But uh, the uh, the uh, sound quality around here is uh, phenomenal. I understand why they built it. <laughs> uh, when they're playing down there, it all echoes off these walls, and it's it's quite a quite a sound the, some of the bass just goes, goes right through you so it's, uh, oh another thing is uh, right here's the, uh, the amphitheater the, the, the stage I mean straight above the stage is Denver it's downtown Denver right there that's heading east that's south Denver and that'd be north Denver so pretty neat pretty neat little place I'll find out how much it costs to come in and what kind of music it is and if it sounds like something I'm interested in I might come to you tonight A group is called Elenium. It's not a group. It's like a DJ kind of guy. It's all millennial techno crud. <laughs> so I'm not going to go to it. Um, I did walk around though and uh, check it out. The uh, there's a round building over here. The theater, or the the, the uh, stage is down there. The amphitheater comes up. This is on the top, and I guess they call the beer garden or whatever. This is the formation to the south, north, and this is to the south. Over here in the north corner, there's a round building. You go in it and there's a staircase that goes down. There's like two floors underneath here. 
that uh, it's a big, uh, it's a big uh, uh, museum and shows who's played here over the years. They've got a, a theater that plays movies showing who's played here over the years. And uh, they've got a restaurant and a souvenir shop, that kind of stuff. So this place is really, really neat. Um, I just wish there was a better plan, band plan tonight because they were playing some music earlier for the sound check. I'm like, I could listen to that kind of stuff. But uh, well, I looked it up on the internet and I'm like, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I'd be the old guy in the room because it looked like it was a very young, young crowd and uh, teenager kind of stuff. So anyway, I'm going to head out. A long walk back to the van here, but uh, they just they just closed it. They said, uh, everybody head out and we're going to get ready for the venue tonight. So. I guess I'm going to go find something else to look at. Well, we got the uh, drone back. Uh, took it in on a Tuesday uh, afternoon, probably about 4 in the afternoon. And they said they'd have it ready on Wednesday. Well, Wednesday evening came along, around about 4.30, I decided to call them, see how everything was going, and they go, who are you? I'm like, oh. So what they did, uh, they, they looked and, oh, we, we didn't see it here, I'm sorry. So they worked on it and got it out Thursday morning, bright and early. They called me about 10 o'clock Thursday morning, says, okay, we've, we've got it all fixed. What happened was this motor, see how we, freely it spins? Okay, I'll just put this blade on here. see it doesn't want to spin very well so right here it just doesn't spin well so what they did they just unbolted the whole arm this whole arm flips under like this to fold under okay well, anyway they took this whole arm off took the solder joints off re-soldered the new one in this is a brand new arm brand new motor and I, from what I understand it's easier for them to replace the whole arm than it is to replace the motor itself this, this motor just has a stiffness to it and I asked him you could uh, pop this thing off the back here and uh, you can get there's some uh, torque bolts underneath there torque screws and I'd take this off and put it just put a new motor on he says yeah well, we, they, they ship them in, in the arm uh, kind of set up and it's just so much easier for them to do it that way so so anyway they, they fixed it and it's flying up and running good as new sort of um, uh, I do have some battle scars. This is the blade that hit and messed up that, this motor. It was on this corner here. And this this blade is actually in pretty good shape. And I can tell it was this one. because It was either this one or this one because they have the, the rings. They're, they're, this one, see there's no uh, ring here. Because these blades are pitched backwards. Okay. So this blade spins this way. And this blade spins this way. And it counteracts the torque roll so you don't have to have a, like a tail rotor on a helicopter so these two blades spin counterclockwise and these two blades spin clockwise so anyway um got to looking at the blades this the ones that spin counterclockwise have a little circle around them and the ones that spin clockwise don't see the difference okay anyway um guys i got to looking at it these are the two blades either one of them they're about equal tore up wise a little scuff here and a little scuff here Okay, so those are pretty much, this is the blade that got tore up the worst. It got a big old chunk of it ripped out of it here. And, uh, see it right there. So, you can see a big old chunk ripped out of it. So, anyway, I don't know where this one, I would imagine it was probably here. Man, I don't know, it doesn't, because the tree came in from this side. You know, the, the, the tree was here, and a drone flew into it this way. So, I'm surprised it was this one that broke. Uh, only thing is I can figure is it hit and then rotated downward and, and hit a rock or something and that, that's what met us, messed it up. I don't know. Anyway, back to running. Everything works fine, just as good as new. These are the factory blades. They're, they're plastic. They bend a little bit. And I went and put these on. These are a carbon fiber blade. Much stiffer, you know, a lot stronger. So we'll see what happens with them. I bought these when I bought the drone and... Uh, um, so anyway, this is, uh, I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> we got her fixed though. And um, the charge, they charged me uh, $35 for the arm. 
this, uh, where'd it go? This arm, this arm was $35 and the install fee was 85 and to get it expedited was $85. Well, since they didn't get it out the next day, they said, we can't charge you that. So I'm okay, you know, I don't care, just get me my drone back as quick as possible. And I was tickled to death that they got it fixed because basically it crashed on Saturday and by Thursday morning it was fixed and I was back on back in the air. So I'm all happy about that. But um, yeah, have any troubles, just crash, crash your drone or whatever, just uh, put it in a box and mail it to them in Denver or LA or Florida or Seattle or someplace up in the Northwest, I'm not sure. But anyway, I went to their DJI's website and found the service centers and I just happened to be going through Denver, so that's why I stopped and got it fixed there in person instead of having to mail it. So, all's good. So when, the only battle scar I got is, you know, just some scratches on the blades, on the old blades. And then right here, you see that little scar right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. But right there is a little, little scratch. Other than that, it's back to perfect again. Works fine.